and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're going to be taking a look at literally a brand new puzzle by the mighty Fistamafel, no less. This has put me in a very good mood, knowing I'm going to get to do this today. I hope I'll be able to do it. Anyway, it's called Dandelion, a ludicrously short uh, set of thermometers here. Um, I think we've got... Well, what have we got? We've got two... Well, we've got three thermometers that have length three. I know four thermometers that have length two. No, no, actually, I just can't count. There are actually loads of thermometers of length three, but length three of thermometers are not exactly useful. And then some short, stubby thermometers, and that's all we get. That is all we get to um, apparently create a unique solution. There is a night's move constraint in this one as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a go at this in a moment. I have some things to tell you about first. And let's start with Patreon, where more of you have somehow got through um, the Paint by Numbers Institute doctoral pack. Very, very well done to the following. Uh, to Tony uh, van der Peet uh, down there in New Zealand, uh, a place, a country, probably the country in the world I would most like to visit that I haven't been to. Um, Ian van Delft, to Stephen Lip, to Chiswick, to Todd Warnken, to Phoebe Stanton, Jim Davis, Nina slash Berry. I hope I'm saying that right, Nina. Um, now, Joe Chang. Sorry, Joe. I should have read your name out a couple of days ago. Joe was one of the fastest solvers. And then somehow I missed his name. So apologies, Joe. But you have indeed successfully solved the puzzles. Um, Bill, Bill Allsup and Tran Chi Hui or Hu or Hayu. I'm sorry, I'm probably saying your name wrong as well, and I apologise. But you've all done magnificent work, and there is, uh, yeah, um, much genuflection on the side of Mark and I when faced with your speed, frankly. Um, do have a go at those puzzles if you haven't, have a, haven't had a go at them yet. They are wonderful. Now, any moment now, we're going to be releasing Mark's set a video on how he set the Jubilee Sudoku. We have not had many entries in for that puzzle, let me tell you, about five so far, which given that we often get hundreds of entries instantly is, uh, uh, I think, a statement on how hard that puzzle is. Um, now, is there anything else I had to mention? I think there there were other things I was meant to be telling you about. I don't think I've got any any birthday announcements today. Um, although I will, I will tell you it's my birthday tomorrow. So there you go. <laughs> so um, if you want if you want to help me and assist me in getting as big a cake as possible, please do subscribe to the channel. Please do drop a like onto the video. That would that would make my birthday more splendid. Um, and I would be grateful indeed. Um, now, there was something else I was meant to say. Oh yeah, I've remembered it, I've remembered it. I'm such a numpty. Um, so what I was gonna show you was this picture, um, which which I actually took a couple of years ago, but it popped up on Facebook today as one of those sort of, oh, this is in your history, and it got a lot of likes at the time. So I thought I would share it with you guys because it tickled me pink. It tickled me so pink, I took a photo of it. Um, and because I'm never quite sure whether to trust my humour, I sent this to Mark this morning. I said, is it all right if I tweet this? Or are people just not going to find it funny? And Mark found it hilarious. And I was sort of thinking, gosh, he finds that really much more funny than I was expecting. And he was instantly, oh, yes, you must Twitter it, etc. Um, and then it emerged that actually the joke that he found in this, in this sign was different from the joke I found. <laughs> So there are two, hopefully there are two reasons you might find this funny and we'll, we'll at least hit your, hit your funny bone on one of them. So the, the reason Mark found it funny is that the caveated star is so small it's almost impossible to read. Uh, so it's sort of implying that, um, you know, if you did need your eyes checked, you'd never be able to read what the, what the condition was. Mark found that very funny. What I found funny was diff was different, and it relies on you being able to read what that says, which is, I admit, very difficult. But if you could read it, you would see it said subject to availability. And this is why I took this, this picture in the first place, because it just struck me as ludicrous that on an advert, you can say, I checks available today, star, and then in tiny words, write subject to availability because they're basically you could write anything you could write free ferraris given out from this shop door today and then in tiny writing you could write unless there are no ferraris and that would be apparently fine anyway um uh, i don't mean to malign boots 
too much. Boots is a very, it's very good pharmacy. Um, but their adverts, I'd, well, unless this is intended to be funny, in which case, kudos. Um, uh, their adverts must leave something to be desired. Right, let's get on with Dandelion before I make too much of a fool of myself, or an even bigger fool of myself. The rules are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along a thermometer must increase from the bulb end. So yeah, these are not going to be very useful. And cells separated by a knight's move in chess cannot contain the same digits. So just to make sure everyone understands how thermometers work, let's use this one because then the mercury can sort of rise up the thermometer. If this was a three, this square has to be bigger than three. So as mercury rises, as the heat rises, so must digits along your thermometers. So that would be a completely le legitimate way of filling this thermometer in. Um, now, in terms of knight's move, let's make the central digit a one. This square here then, if it was a chess knight, it could jump to a variety of cells around the grid, which ordinarily wouldn't be, would all be able to be ones because of the rules of Sudoku. However, in this puzzle, none of these blue cells can be a one if this was a one in the center, because this one is a, as a chess knight could jump to all these cells. And therefore, because you cannot have cells with the same digit separated by a knight's move, this would all be completely illegal. So we mustn't do that. Um, how do I get rid of these pencil marks like that? Do have a go. I mean, they sh you, you should need, if you're new to the channel, you might not know who Fistema Fell is. Um, basically right at the very, very top of the, uh, the pantheon of world Sudoku setters. Um, and if you're not new to the channel, you will know exactly what we're in store for here. The great man never lets us down. So let's have a go at this. Um, and let's get cracking. I can't remember if I said the way to play is to click the link under the video. I may have already said that. I'm sorry, but that is how to play. Um, so <laughs> this is um, going to involve presumably knight's moves and the central box somehow. So that digit I can immediately see is restricted, believe it or not, in box five, because let's make this, these are the decisions that, that trouble me. Right, we'll make this blue. Where does it go in the central box of the grid? Well, it doesn't go there by Sudoku. It can't go on its own thermo because the digits increase as we go along the thermo. And by knight's move, it can't go in those two. So it goes on another thermo, this one over here. So this digit is the same as one of those two digits, which means this bulb is lower than blue. Um, and that, right, okay, right. We're already off to something quite interesting then. If this digit is lower than blue, and it is because of this thermo, where does orange go in box five now? And the answer is not in those three cells. It's lower than blue, orange, so it can't go higher than blue on this thermo. It sees those two by night's move, so orange goes on this thermo. Oh, this is gorgeous. Already this is gorgeous. And now this digit has to be lower than orange and blue. So it can't go... Oh, <laughs> Okay, it goes in one place, I've just realised. Okay, let's just let's do this slowly because it's quite cool. Green can't go here. It can't go on its own thermo. It can't go here by night's move. And green is lower than blue because orange is lower than blue. And green is lower than orange. So green can only go there. Which means this cell, which will make mm, yellow. Um, this cell... Ah, no. Okay, I, that the, 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 road, um, the road runs dry there, I think. Because um, yellow in the middle box, we know it can't go. Because, because it's lower than all the other colours. It can't go on these thermos. And it's lower than green. And it sees this thermo, so it has to be lower than that. So yellow is in one of two places, I think, in box number five. And that means that we can, mm. okay, I don't know what that means, but I think probably what we should do now is work out what the value of all these bulbs can be. Because this digit, for example, it can't be a nine or an eight, because if we, even if we start, start with nine here, nine, eight, the maximum this digit could be a seven. 
which means that seven on this thermo, the absolute maximum this cell could be is therefore six. If we put the seven here, this could be a six, uh, which means the maximum, if we put the six there, that could be a five. So this could be a five. So the maximum yellow can be is four. And that's a bit annoying, actually. I was hoping we might do better than that. Um, so this has got to be one, two, three, or four. Green is bigger than yellow, so this one is 2, 3, 4, or 5. Orange is bigger than green, so this is 3, 4, 5, or 6. And blue is bigger than orange, so this is 4, 5, 6, or 7. Mark, I'd love to see Mark doing this puzzle, because at the start he might have pencil marked all of these thermos, and it would just look so ludicrous. I'm almost tempted to ask him to just to send me the start of his solve of this. Um, Right, okay, but hang on. So what have we got now? What is it I'm meant to be appreciating? Is it to do with... Ah, not quite. Ah, okay. So yellow almost overlaps with one. Indeed, it might be one, because I was wondering where one went in the middle box. And the reason for that is that there are only two digits in Sudoku that are sort of ab initio, limited by thermometers, and they're the digits one and nine. The digit one can only ever go in the bulb of a thermo, because if you try and put it halfway along the thermo, you'll have to put zero or lower in the bulb. And the digit nine can only go on a thermo tip. So, in fact, that might be worth checking as well. So which... Oh, no, that's rotten. Okay, right. I was just thinking about nines in the middle box. Now, this definitely can't be nine because it's, it's green. But I don't think it's necessary that nine is on the blue thermo, even though this is the biggest bulb, because it's possible this square would be blue. It's possible this square would be orange, in which case all of the... You could just put nine at the end of one of those thermos and it wouldn't be under pressure. So, so nine, I think, has at least those three positions in box five. Oh, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Nine could go in these two positions as well. So nine is not restricted in box five, I'm afraid. Um... Okay, let's write this in. So this is two, three, four, or five. One of these is four, five, six, or seven. One of these is three, four, five, or six. And the jackpot is if we can get one of these colors into the end of their thermo. So if this, for example, was here, that would push, well, this could no longer be six. So it wouldn't actually make a massive difference. It would make a small difference. Right. Two is a little bit restricted in box five, you know? Two can't go on, on a thermo that's got a bulb that's a, a, a minimum of four. Can't go on a, on a thermo whose bulb is a minimum of three. And can't go on a bulb whose bulb is a minimum of two. So two is on the diagonal, but there is, there is no diagonal constraint today. But it is true to say that two is in one of those. So if two was here, this would have to be a one. This would have to be a two. Ah, ah, right, that's good. That's good. Okay, Th that this can't be two because where would two go in box four? It can't go here because of the night's move constraint. So it's either there or there, which means it's on a little stubby thermo, which means the bulb of the little stubby, stubby thermo is one. And that doesn't work because what's this digit? If this digit is a one, if this is a two, this is a one and they can't be one. That's very, very beautiful. So now, now, right, so now these are not able to be two which means that uh, it doesn't do anything to the bulb of this one, I don't think. But it does mean that where does two go in the middle box? It goes into those squares. So we now have a one, two pair in the middle box. 
Okay, well, that's, I'm going to go back to my 9 thought then. Because now 9 has to be on a thermo in this box. So 9 is in one of those three cells. Now, is it... I don't think there is a... No. I don't actually... I don't think there is a, 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 like a cell like, I don't know, this one that eliminates would eliminate all nines it nearly does if that was a nine you would have to have a nine there in the middle box and then you'd have to have a nine exactly there in in, in box eight because you couldn't have it here by night's move and you obviously can't put nine in the bulb of a thermo so nine i, I was going to say nine is a bit restricted I, i'm not actually sure it is particularly restricted in box five Green, green has to be in one of those two cells, which might be interesting. Hang about. Oh, for goodness sake, Simon. Okay, sorry. I have been very, very slow here. Um, all right, no, I'm going to forgive myself. It's nearly my birthday, so I'm entitled to forgive myself. Um... I was looking at this and thinking about it, but where does three go in box five? Well, bear in mind that these thermometers all have to be greater than three because their bulbs are at least three. Three can only go there. So three was just a given, we could have got that. So three is in one of these two cells. So three is not there anymore by night's move. Well, and a bit of Sudoku indeed um so this is four five or six so right okay so now we ask where four goes in the middle box and we repeat the trick don't we four can't go here because this can't be a three four can't go on this thermo because this can't be a three so four has got to go on this thermo and it can't go here because you can't put three and a half in there. So that's a four, which means it's probably the same as this. Does it need to be the same as this? So if this was orange, this would be a four. Four would be in one of these two cells. I'm not sure. And can we do the same thing now with five? No, you can't. Five, five is not as good. Because the problem I've got, well, maybe not for this one, which can't be four, but this, because this can be four. Oh yeah, okay. So where does, if we ask where five goes, five could go here, I think, but it could go on this one. It can't go on this one though, so it's got three possible positions, which I suppose means it deserves a pencil mark, given, I, give, given that I gave one to nines. Um, this bulb now is, has got to be lower than three, so that's got to be one or two. And that means I don't know. Uh, I'd really like to know which one of these was yellow. Let me just think about that for a moment. Um, if no, actually that's not good. Sorry, I thought I could uh, limit yellow in box four potentially but i don't think i can yellow in box oh you can't put yellow on this thermo look this cell is weird it sees the whole the whole of that thermo in box eight by night's moves and a bit of sudoku um so yellow wow well, i don't even know yellow's in one of four places in box um in box eight Oh dear, dear, dear. Right, okay, so what do we do now? Unsurprisingly, Vista Mafel has stumped me again. Has one man ever been stumped by another 
more times than Fistamafel has stumped me? That is a question. Hmm. That probably, yes, I think I would be up there. Even in fictional land, I would be up there because I don't think Moriarty stumped Sherlock Holmes very often at all. Um, not really. So basically, yes, Fister Mavell <laughs> lorded it over me more than any other man in history has lorded it over another man. Hmm. Three, is that somehow restricted? If you put, oh yes, well there's a little point. Three, three can't go at the tip of this thermo now because then it would need to go two, one, and one of these would have to be yellow. So three, can't go there by night's move. Three is in one of those cells, I think. Which means it's almost overlapping with yellow. I don't quite get this at all. Well, I say I don't quite get it. I don't get it at all. Three has to be on... Ah, okay. Three has to be on a thermo tip in box four. So one of these bulbs is a very low number. Oh, that's beautiful. Right. That I bet that matters. Because neither of these can be yellow. That's right. This is very, very interesting. Because this is a one or a two and sees both those bulbs, this one by a knight's move, yet one of these bulbs has to be a lower digit than three. This is like a, I don't know, I'll make it red. One of these is a one or a two, but it's not the yellow one or two. And this, oh, this is gore. This is so clever. Oh my goodness me. Right. So what's the color of this digit now? And the answer is not red, but, um, because if it was red, if this was the one of these is a is a one or a two, and I've made that color made that color red. Now, if this was red, it would see that by normal Sudoku, and it see that by Knight's move. So red couldn't go in either of those. So that must be yellow, and this must be red. And now that can't be yellow. Ah, oh, I'm sure that this is important somehow. This is too, the way these, these little um, thermos are interacting is too beautiful for it not to matter. What's this doing? What is this doing? It is. So red. I don't know, actually. Um. If this was red, then red would have to go there in box six, because it couldn't go here, because this would then need to be yellow, because it would need to be lower than red, and it can't be yellow. Oh, no, okay, so maybe it's about where yellow goes in box four now. Yellow is in one of three positions. Um, oh, Bobbins, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm. Okay. Right, let's have a look at this thermo thermo then i've not looked at this one and i can see something mildly interesting about this it sees a one two three triple in the middle box look so this has got to be at least a four which means this is at least a five and this is at least a six and yes if you're mr goodliff you would then instantly do this um but i don't think that looks very pretty at all um Okay, so that digit Yeah, where does that digit go in box five? 
because by the knight's move it can't go in these wing cells here so it's it's locked out of all those it's a six seven eight or nine so it doesn't go in those two cells so it goes in one of those two cells let's just perplify the world to see if that makes a difference so if purple was here oh no that's nonsense i was about to say that means blue is here and that would be very powerful because that would mean this is a six and this is a seven but the problem with that is that purple and blue can be the same digit and they could both be in there so ignore me that's absolute nonsense um Okay, I've got very little there for this digit. Is that restricted in the box? It's it's knocked out of all those and it's not four or three. So that digit is a bit restricted as well. I'm running out of colors here. Those three, this one, I will make, um, I don't know. I can actually see the thermo against uh, against that background so I'll risk making it dark gray so dark gray is in no that's wrong it's, it's, it's seeing these two by night smooth so it's got to be in one of those two cells so one of these two cells oh so if it was here No, that's fine. I mean, if it was here, it, it, it couldn't be five anymore. It would have to be, it would have to be a seven or an eight, I think, because if it was here, if it was six, say, and we put six there, that would be five and that would need to be four, which it can't be. So there's definitely a little bit of restriction, but the problem is that could go here and then, and then it could be five. So that's, again, not, well, it's not going very well, is it? I think I'm stuck. Um, and the thing I think I've let myself down on here is I haven't understood how to use these ones and twos. This stuff over here was too beautiful for it not to matter. Red has to go in one of those three cells at the top. Oh, right. Hang on. Hang on. I haven't got my head around this yet, but now I'm asking the question, where do the low digits go in this column? Because... Well, one of them is here. That's for true. But I've still got to put red four and three into this column and they can none, none of them can go there obviously because they see the one two three and four in the box none of them can go there none of them can go there and i i don't think it can go here but yes, I mean, it can't. In fact, it's, it's actually easy to see that, that none of them can go here. Let's just use Sudoku rather than Thermo logic to do this. This this sees four already with three as a pencil mark down here. So it can't be four or three. Well, it clearly can't be one or two because it's the third cell on a Thermo, which would make this a zero. So this square is not a low digit, but I'm just going to pencil mark that. I think it's five, six, seven, possibly eight or nine. So that, and th this is the same, this is five, six, seven. That can't be, that can't be nine because it's not on a thermo tip. And then this one is five, six, seven, eight or nine because it sees one, two, three, four in the box. So yes, yeah, so one way of thinking about this is there is a quintuple on five, six, seven, eight, nine in column five, which means that these squares have to be ones, twos, threes and fours. And we know this one is not three because it sees, we know the three is in one of those. Can that be, ah, this this is a four. This can't be yellow, it can't, well, it can't be yellow because yellow's in one of those cells and yellow is here. It also now can't be red because if it's red, what do we put in the bulb? The answer is yellow 
and yellow is yellow cannot go in the bulb so this cannot be one or two that's a four uh, I don't know if that's doing anything really powerful but that's well it's me yeah okay it's, yeah, yeah 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 this is red right this is what I've been missing this is red this is red this is red because it can't be three by Sudoku it can't be four but it's lower than four because it's on the thermo and it can't be yellow so it must be one or two and it must be the red one or two which means that these are not one or two which means this is a red one or two which means that this square is a three by Sudoku because it sees a one two pair in the column which means these squares are not three this square gets greenified and now and now we will we will argue that I don't know actually I'm not sure what I'm going to argue about that well I'm quite interested in where that digit goes in the middle box now though because that digit can't go many places so this is like the equivalent of this one it's in fact it's the direct analogy of purple so I don't really have a good direct analogy color and I've run out of colors I'm going to make this black for a moment because this digit here where does it go in box five and the answer is not there not in the wings because of knight's move not there because that's it's a five six seven eight or a nine it's not a three and it's not a one or a two so these digits here are now the purple and black digits those two but they're also capable of being like oh god this is getting really confusing now so purple and black are a pair in these squares but the problem is that this overlap potential you know this could be a six and this could be a six for example so i can't necessarily oh oh right here's something though that digit which is my gray digit my dark gray digit was in one of those two cells well i can tell you it's not here anymore because if it was there it's displacing we, we know that these two digits here are black and purple and black and purple are definitely different from dark gray because they're in the same column so there's no way that this is dark gray and therefore where does dark gray go in this box it goes here only and therefore that cell's not a nine that's interesting so that cell is now dark gray and it's five five six seven or eight which means this can't be uh, eight anymore which means this can't be seven anymore um, and that's very important because um, well no actually let's approach that from the other direction hang on have I just gone about that the wrong way round I don't trust what I've just done there I'm just going to think about this again how could this be five it can't be five what did i just get rid of from? oh okay i went down the thermometer but isn't it simpler just to think about this cell that cell can't be five or six because if it's five or six i need a four here which i haven't got available so this is not five or this is seven or eight so this yeah oh, hang on, i'm making a right holics of this if this isn't seven if this is seven or eight this square cannot be seven or eight and this square can't be seven anymore so this is actually much more restricted now and that means that that square is now seven or eight which means this square is now eight or nine so there is an eight or an oh ah oh, this is it i've done it I've done it right okay so remember what we said we said that 
Um, purple and black are in these two squares. Well, how could this now be purple? If this is purple, it can no longer be the same as blue. Because, because it's 8 or 9 and this is 5 or 6 and that would break the thermo. This would be purple, 8 or 9, this would be 5 or 6 and that thermo would not run upwards. Mercury would have, well, it would have really, really given itself a problem. We would have achieved alchemy in the, all the wrong way and we wouldn't have a dandelion. So, so, so purple must go here. So this is not purple. This is purple. But if that's purple, that's got to be, it can't be orange because orange is four, five or six and that's definitely not the same as purple. So this is, this is purple and not orange. This is definitely now the orange digit, which now must be a four. And therefore we know this digit is this digit which is definitely not the same as blue because it sees blue in its box so blue is there blue is five oh blue is six blue is six because blue has to go in this cell now because this one has to go there and if blue's five that would have to be four and a half so blue six blue six so this digit has become a five Um, let's just get our colours sorted out now. This square's now... Oh, hang on, what's gone wrong here? That does not look right. Hang on, I don't trust my pencil marks now. I've got to go back, sorry. I don't trust what I've done at all. Um, so, let me just think about this again. I think we're on to something here. This square... Because this needs to be at least five, six, seven. That's the minimum you can put in there. So that is five or six. Well, it's not five or six, sorry. So, so now this can't be seven or eight. No, it could be seven. That's wrong. That's what I've got wrong. It could be seven and this could be eight. But this can't be five because that can't be four. Okay, so that gets down to six or seven. And this gets down this gets down to five or six and this being a seven or an eight makes this a seven or an eight which makes this an eight or a nine and now the logic still works I think this cannot go here because then this would the thermo would break so that goes there that's therefore not the orange digit which means that it is in fact purple and orange is here and now this digit has to find a home here which means blue has to find a home here because these two digits are not the same digit therefore that's six that's five that's five that's six that's seven that's eight that's eight that's nine that's nine and suddenly we have broken into the puzzle good grief so now that's the black digit, isn't it? This is the blue digit. And we have liftoff, I think. This can't be a five by Sudoku. Now, what else is that seeing? That is seeing nothing. <laughs> that's not seeing anything. Um, Three is in one of two places in box two. What have I not done here? Because this, I've, I've a feeling this should just be a cacophony of, of forward momentum now. Four is in one of those two cells. I don't understand. How could this not... Because the problem here is that this, I've just got very tiny thermos left. So something profound needs to have happened here. And I have a feeling it's staring me straight in the face and I can't see it.
Right, okay, that thermo is more restricted than I thought, because it sees one and two, that bulb. This bulb sees both colours of one and two, so it's not a one or a two in the bulb, it's not a three and a four in the bulb. That is at least a five. So five, six, seven or eight, it's not eight. Five, six or seven, can we do better than that? Mm, I don't think I can. That means this is a, aha. Oh, right, this is a nine. That's a nine. It's a naked single now because it's been pushed up above above five and it sees six, seven and eight in, in the middle box. So that's a nine, which means it's purple, which means purple is almost overlapping completely with yellow in box four. In fact, probably the easier, the better way of doing that would have been to do it like that. So I'll do it like that as well. Six, seven. Um, so, I mean, it's so ridiculous. I mean, it's got to be an eight down here. I don't know what it's got to be at all, to be honest. I'm feeling very unsure as to that gets orangeified. Five is in one of two cells up here. Can't go here because of the knight's move constraint. The thing is, I just don't... Is there some way of working out... I mean, I just don't think these thermos are even worth pencil marking, are they? Oh, right, okay. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong as usual. Fistum fell again. Right, what is that cell? And the answer is, it's, I don't think it can be a big digit because it's C6, 7, 8 and 9 by, by a variety of nonsenses. So its maximum value is 5. Which means that this cell has to be lower than 5 and can't be 4 and it can't be 3. So, oh, this is 1 or 2, is it? Hang on, let me just double check this. This cannot be six, seven, eight, or nine. It's a maximum of five. Therefore, the digit here is lower than five and can't be four and it can't be three. It's a one or a two. Wow. So that is, it's not yellow, so that's red. That is the red one or two. That's not the one or the two. Didn't that have to go with the three in this box or is that a totally me misremembering my earlier logic? I think it did, because I think we said that the three was on one end of the thermo, and I noticed that I couldn't put the bulb with a yellow digit, and that's true. So I need the red digit to shelter the three. Yes, so this is the three, which means that gets uncolored. So the red, oh, look, 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 red goes there in box, uh, box six. And this digit is now quite high because it can't be one, two, three, or four by Sudoku, or five by Sudoku. Oh, so if it can't be five, where does five go in the row? You can't put five there because that would have to be a lower digit. So five goes here. So this is a six, seven pair, and we know the order by the thermo. So even this short stubby thermo at the start of row five is actually very important. Um, which means seven is up here, look. It means that six is a blue digit. Seven is seven. seven. I didn't seem to have given a color to seven. I'm sorry about that, seven. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So what do we do next? We argue that. Uh, I haven't got a clue. I'm sorry about this. No. Okay. Nine. Nine in box eight. Can't go there. So it has to go here. That's interesting. 
that's interesting because that's taken away one of the positions for um, yellow that I had in here. So this, right, so these squares now are either, well, they're from 1, 2 and 8, aren't they? Because we know that it's an 8 in one of these squares and the yellow version of the 1, 2. So I've now got a 1, 2, 8 triple here and this square is a 7 by Sudoku, which means this is not a 7 by Sudoku. That doesn't affect the thermo though. So, oh, I still don't know what this is. So I don't know. Oh, okay, but I've got a 1, 2, 8 triple in column 6. So these have got to be odd digits of the nature 3, 5, and 7, I want to say. And that one can't be 3, and that one can't be 5. So I've got 3, 5, 7 here. 1, 2, 4, 6. We'll go full good lift on that. And that's... Oh, yes. Yes, please. Is that yellow? Or have I just miscalculated that? That seems to see a four six pair. One, two, four, six. Sees a four six pair. So that's yellow. And if that's yellow, it's ruling yellow out of a lot of it's ruling yellow out of a lot of cells. Wow. Okay, so where does yellow go in this box? One of two places. So yellow is not there anymore. So yellow is in one of these two cells. Um, I'm sure that means something. Eight in column three. Can't go in any of those three because of the knight's move from this digit here. So eight's at the bottom, which actually is quite nice. That's an X-wing on eights in the bottom two rows there. Look, eights here and eights here are aligning. So the simple way of understanding the effect of that is to ask where eight goes in row eight. Can't go here, can't go in any of those. So it's got to go in one of these three. Um, six is six is interesting in box, um, box six. Boom, boom, boom. That is a four, six pair which means that it is an orange-blue pair. That's the other way of representing that. So this box still needs to have in it one, two, seven, and eight. And that can't be a seven. So this is one, two, or eight. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Um, No, I haven't got anything there. Has anyone got anything there? I probably wouldn't hear you, even if you could shout through your time machines. Um, right, that's a black digit. Let's, let's do that. There's a five in one of these two. It's not rolling over and let us, let, letting us tick, tickle its tummy, is it? It's really still being quite recalcitrant. Red is almost restricted. Oh, it is almost restricted. One of two places in box three through Knight's Move Jiggery Pokery. Is that going to work down there as well? Not quite. Red, I think, has three possible positions in this box. Might be wrong about that. Um, let's try red in this box. Uh, it's not in these cells, and it's not here, and it's not here. Red is only in one of two positions in that box. So red in box, red in box one is, uh, neither of these reds reach into this box by knight's move, so I don't think we get anything good. Is that worth even pencil mark? I'm not even sure it is, to be honest. I think it's in one of those four positions. Right, so we're back to the drawing board. We need to think harder. We shall think instead about where. Where is the weak point? Five, nearly. Ah, nearly, nearly, nearly. I've wondered about five in row three. Can't go there because of this powerful five. And it can't go here because of this quite powerful five. So five is in one of two places in row three. No, 
I keep trying to use these middle digits and failing. Um, four. Oh, oh, eight. Eight in this one. I thought I looked at eight, but I, okay. Maybe I looked at eight somewhere else. Eight can't go there by knight's move. It can't go here. It can't go here because of our X-wing on eight. So eight goes there. And therefore that digit is not red anymore. These digits are not eight anymore. Oh no. Uh, oh yeah. This eight sees that one by knight's move. So this is now well, this that means that is 8, this is not 8, and therefore that has to be, you've guessed it, yellow. That's not yellow. 8 is meant to be a grey digit. Yellow now, so, ah, yeah, okay, so yellow is in one of two places in box 9. Oh, right. That's so, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. What's that digit now? And the answer is not a one or a two, because if it's a one or a two, you can't put one or two in any of those cells because of the knight's move constraint. It sees all of them. And yet we know that there's reds and yellows in this string. So that's got to be an eight. That must be powerful. So now that gets greyified. This is now an eight, nine pair at the top. Um, which is otherwise represented, of course, as a purple-grey pair. So that means these cells are ones, twos, and fives. Oh, so that right. So the, so the yellow must be here, and that looks quite powerful actually, because that seems to mean I can place five here. Yeah, this can't be yellow. I've not put yellow in this row. That seems reasonably logical. So this is five. That's five by Sudoku. I've done absolutely nothing. Right, this is, this is one, two, seven. One of these is yellow. Um, red. Okay, all right, red. Let's move our attention to red. Red is in those two cells, so it's not here. So red is there which means that's a one or a two. I've got woo, a weird like one, two deadly type pattern there. That looks a bit worrying. In Knight's Move puzzles though, it's often not as worrying as it would otherwise be. Hmm. Red, oh. Okay, so red is in one of these cells. Now red is in one of these two cells, in fact. So that might be important. So if if red was on the thermo, that would be forced to be yellow. I bet you that's how these ones and twos get disambiguated, is by this tiny little thermo in the top. So how do I know this square is not... How do I do this then? I need this square to not be red. So for that square not to be red, this square needs to be red. And this square needs to be red. So why isn't this one red? That's the question I'm now asking. And the answer to that question is I have not got a clue. Is there something going on in this row that we need to we need to understand. Yes, there is. Where does five go in this row? How is I, I mean, there must be a way of spotting this more quickly than I do, but like, where does five go in that row? This five sees those two, that five sees that one, so it's not in those cells. That one sees that one, and that one sees that one. There's a five here, which means this is not yellow, which means that's not that that is yellow, which sh shunts the red over where I need it. So this is a complete, it's complete gibberish. So this is this is now red, which means that's not red, which means this is now red, which means this is not red. And once this isn't red, we get red on the thermo, which is what I've been after. And once red is on the thermo and it's a one or a two, the bulb of the thermo, you've guessed it, is the yellow one. So now, now, yeah, and of course now what we can say 
is that must be the two. So red is two. Wherever it appears, red is two. Yellow, hang on, let's get rid of those. Yellow is one. So, uh, okay, so there's a slight deadly pattern of ones and twos there. Um, ah, okay. Right, so now, well, now I've almost used everything, actually. So it ought to be, five is a black digit, isn't it? So I should make those black. The sevens are the uncolored digits. And now it should just be knight's move, I want to say. These squares are not two, obviously. So this is a one seven pair. Okay, let's try this then. So, oh, I see. I can put eight in this in this cell, and these squares have got to be three, four, three, six, and seven. I want to say three, six, and seven, and that can't be three, and that can't be seven by knight's move, and that can't be seven by normal Sudoku move. So this is seven. This are uh, six and three is also done. Good. 6 and 3 go into the grid. So this column now needs a 6 and a 9. And there's a 9 here. So that's the 9. That's the 6. 9 gets purplified. 6 gets blueified. 3 gets greenified. And 8 gets greyified. And in this box, we still need to put 4s, 5s and 9s in. And that means that's a 5 by Sudoku. So this is a 4-9 pair. This is now an 8. That's a 9. 8 is the grey one. 9 is the other thing, the, the purple one. Um, this digit must be known. That's a 3 by Sudoku. That's green. These squares are 4, 7 and 8. That can't be 8, look. Or 4. See, it's 4 by Knight's move. So that's a five by Sudoku, of all things. Fancy doing Sudoku in a Sudoku puzzle. It's outrageous. Um, this is not a one or a two. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. I was about to say I've got an X-wing on fours, but that's a bit redundant given in this row we already know. If we'd looked at it, we need threes, fours, and nines. Oops, three, four, nine. That's, ah, this three is lovely. It sees both of those by Knight's Move Jiggery Pokery. So that gets greenified. That gets greenified. And this is a four nine pair. And this nine looks in and, and sorts that out for us. So that's four, that's nine, that's six, that's four. I'll figure out the colors in a second or two. That's four by Sudoku. Six, seven, and nine into, this is a seven by Sudoku. 4 and 9 are fixed down here. That's got to be a 9. That's got to be a 6 in the corner. That looks like it's working. How's this 1, 7 get resolved? Um, I don't know. What's that digit? That digit is a 5. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I was hoping for. Um, oh, dear. Okay, well, something, something's going to be looking at one of these by Knight's move, and that will be how we disambiguate the end of this puzzle. What do we do with a drunken sailor? No, what? One, seven, or eight here. I think that can be all of those things. I might be wrong. That one, that one's just seven or eight. Okay, let's try the same trick on this column. Ones, sixes, and seven. That's just six or seven. This is one, six or seven. I can't see what's reaching into this by knight's move. This is very annoying. No, don't get stuck now. Don't get stuck now, Simon. Oh no. What is it? Is it this thermo? No, that thermo's been irrelevant for a long time. Is it... Oh, please. Okay, I'm just going to res resort to colouring in my numbers then to make myself feel like I'm not wasting everybody's time because I'd have to do this anyway. Um, so this is a 1 or a 7. There's definitely an 8 in one of these cells. But there's no 
there's no eight looking at these cells i don't think six into one of those oh i could color let's color these properly is it the sixes somehow then no this four six i don't think that there's a four or six reaching into there I'm having a total mental block. I just can't see where it is. This square, is that seeing somehow a six or a seven? Is one of these seeing a seven somehow or a one? No, the, the ones are a little X-wing here, aren't they? This must be more resolved than I've managed to get it. Um, oh, Okay, three. It's this three, isn't it? It's Sudoku. That's a relief. Phew. Oh, and this seven. Right. This naughty little seven is looking in there, making that a one, that a seven, which makes that an eight, that a one, that a six, that a seven, that a six, that a four, that a four, and that an eight. And all that's left to do is to hopefully colour in some digits. And we should be roughly in good shape we should have oh, the one what, oh no hang on i need to sort the ones out as well ones are most majestically yellow and that's a very chromatically powerful grid full of uncolored sevens and it's correct another hour-long video i'm so sorry if i'm taking too much of your time do let me know in the comments um most of the comments actually when i ask that tend to say oh, do you like the longer videos so that's why we keep doing them. Um, but anyway, I would always do a Fistum of Bell puzzle anyway. So I hope you'll forgive me, especially as it's nearly my birthday. And um, thanks very much for watching. I mean, let's just, let's just take a moment and just admire what we've witnessed here. Because to do that with tiny little thermos and make it such a beautiful, pretty path is just... Again, what Fistum of Bell does is sets himself the task of making not just a good puzzle but making the very best puzzle you can make with, with the constraints that he's got in mind. So here he's clearly gone, what can I do with tiny little th thermos and a knight's move constraint? Well, let me show you my magic. And he did. Um, and yeah, I look forward to the comments on that one. Let me know how you got on. Let me know if you managed to solve it. I do enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.